Hey folks, Agent CEO here. And in this video, we're going to be walking through how to add lyrics to any song that you want into ProPresenter 7. So let's go ahead and cut over to the computer. All right, I am here on ProPresenter 7. Now there are a couple of ways that you can do this. I mean, you can honestly just the old fashioned way, come up here to presentation, set aside how you want to do it and say, let's come in here and let's do an easy song and say, he is lowered. Simple chant. You could make your own different library. It's up to you how to do that. This is not what that's going to cover, but let me know down below if you want me to go over that. Um, you can set it to a playlist. Again, we're not going to do that. So this might be if you need to add a song right into uh, that's going into service and you can add it directly without having to drag it. So just know that that's an option. So you would just come in here, do new and come up here to edit and you just type out everything in here. I can come in here like he is Lord. He is Lord. And then we'll make a new slide. He has risen from the dead and he is Lord. Let me do it again. New slide. Every knee shall bow every tongue confess and please don't get after me because of my capitalization i noticed i just started changing it every knee shall bow every tongue confess that jesus christ is lord really straightforward now we gave it a name and i've already added this here, so there we go. Now, wait a minute, AJ, it's not in the format that I want it. We'll talk about that later. That's number one, how to add it. You just type it in. Now, there are other websites that I have used before, and I use this a lot, and it's called heminary.com. This is specifically if you're using hymns. And I don't know why it's saying it's unprotected, but anyway, so let's see the African-American Heritage Hymnal. That's the one that I was using. And we can look in here for He is Lord. And there we go. And it's not in that hymnal. I'm trying to find the exact one that, huh. I don't know why it's not in the hymnal that I was using, but let me go back to the, one of the hymnals that I have here and we'll just use this as an example. Another way you could do it instead of typing it, you just go to a site like this that has the lyrics there. And then like this has a T here means that the lyrics are there and I have to agree to this first. And we have our lyrics here and you can just honestly do the exact same thing. I'm going to move this over to the side here and I'm going to take the title of this, When in Our Music God is Glorified. And we're gonna make a new presentation. That's my title. I wanna keep the numbers in it for me if I'm doing a hymnal. So that way if somebody calls out the numbers, I can just search for the numbers instead of the title. We'll do new, we do edit again. And now I'm just gonna copy and paste from here. Simple, same thing, you're just not typing. Be mindful if you use a site like this to actually verify all the words because people who put this in, this is a community-based um, website. So some people can um, fat finger it, all right? So be mindful of that. So I'm gonna go through this. I'm gonna add this one a couple of times. So all I'm doing is just copying and pasting each of the verses, the five verses that are in here. And again, don't worry about the template because the template can change once you pick it. We just need the text in here. All right. So there we go. All straight forward. And there's our song right there. Now, what's another way you can do this? This is the way I like to do this as well. Um, especially you can do this manually or whatever. Um, you can actually copy this and I'm hitting control C to copy. Come back into ProPresenter, go to File, Import, and you can go to Import Text from Clipboard. So it's copying that stuff from memory. So if I go here, and now 
you can't see anything, I copied it. Now this gives me an option to pick my theme, which is your template. I just left this as a lower third lyric. And now I can go to edit and look, everything, it was already there. Now all I gotta do, cause they just jumbled everything in one place. I just need to come in here and just do an insert slide to break it after each verse. Verse and verse four. And now we have all of my stuff here. We give it a title and I minimize my stuff here. So let's copy the title again. Put it here. We can put more information in here, which you could do on either one. Um, I'm just going to put the creator in here, the composer. You know, and you could put copyright information and all this other stuff in here if you wanted to. But guess what? Boom. And there you go. Now, I should have removed the numbers off of there. All right. So that's another way. You just copy it and do, do import. Now, let's do it another way. I'm going to copy this text again. And then I'm going to open up Notepad. And I'm just going to paste it. And I'm going to save this as this title again on my desktop so I know how to get to it. And I'll just make it something short here. So I'll save it like this. And let's put the title in here. So I'm just going to save this. And another way you can do it is we're going to come in here, import from a file. So let's go ahead and select the file we just did. And look, there we go again, another way to import it. And we got to go through here and see this did our title here. So I don't, I want to get rid of this. And we're just doing the same thing again, giving you multiple ways to import songs of any type, right? Just like when I had other songs that were non-hymnals, when I was being a choir director, I would type the stuff up as well too. So you have many an option here. So um, again, this is exactly the same. So it's saying it notices that. So I'm just gonna write over it and there we go. And I don't know why it did it in this format, but whatever. All right, now what's another way we can do it? Let's go back here and we wanna leverage especially with the hymns, we want to leverage some things. There are certain keywords that you can use inside of ProPresenter that will make putting songs a lot easier for you. So we got the song right here. And I don't know if you noticed, every time there's a line space inside of here, it ProPresenter makes a new slide. So let's leverage that. So we're going to come in here and put a space after each one, and it should make a different slide for each one but they also have some keywords in here. So I'm gonna take this number and add verse in front of here for each one. All right, and we save that. Now, let's see what it does when we import this now. You can copy it in memory or load it in a file. So let's actually do it this way. Let's select all and copy. Let's go back here to file, import, text from clip, um, clipboard. Now let's edit it. And look, it split everything and put a label for each part. So we have our verse one, verse two, verse three, verse five. Makes it real simple, all right? So now it separates that. Be on the lookout for another video how we can leverage this with arrangements. But that just shows you that whether you're importing stuff, like if I typed out a song that I'm doing, I would put these keywords in so that when I import them into Pro Presenter, all of this stuff is automatically sorted. So there's a couple of ways that you can actually do that. And I will overwrite this because now I have my verses here and I should have got rid of this um, first slide. I don't need the title. So let's edit and delete that out. But now we have verse one, verse two, verse three, verse four, verse five. There are other keywords as well, like chorus, vamp, a bunch of things like that that you could actually leverage as well too. So if you're doing a hymn that has a ver I mean has a chorus, you don't have to put the chorus in multiple times. You can just label it once. And like I said, we'll talk about that later in arrangements. So I hope that helps. You got a bunch of options here. You can type it out manually. You can copy it from whatever website or whatever that you got it from, and then use um, 
text from clipboard to import. You can actually put it in a file and import that. You can also pull it from a website and just copy and paste what somebody else has typed, or you can copy it and do a hybrid of all of those leveraging the keywords that are inside of ProPresenter that it will help sort out your stuff um, faster as well. So hope that helps. Let me know which um, one of these down below that you actually use or you didn't know about, and now you're gonna start using them if you're using ProPresenter. Let me know if you have any other questions, and we do have some more um, quick tutorials for ProPresenter um, to help your media ministry. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell, that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. We'll catch you on the next video. Later.